Okay, the first fighters are uh, stepping in a fight for bronze. We have Casey Poor of Blood and Iron versus Kevin Campbell of Blood and Iron Martial Arts. Woo! Fighting for bronze. Vancouver chapter. Facing in from Blood Iron Martial Arts Vancouver, Mr. Kevin Campbell. Kevin Campbell. Also of the Vancouver chapter. Come forward and shake ass. It's always hard and at the same time fun to fight your own in tournament. So in this um, in this match, it does not go to nine. In, the, in this final, it will move to the point value of 12. Oh wow! Interesting. Yes, the mat, the point value will be to twelve points. As now the point to value we're looking at, it will be one point for an arm strike, two points for a body strike. I'm sorry, two points for a leg strike, three points for body, and four points for a head shot. A covered thrust is ruled as a five point strike, which means you have to have control of the weapon. Generally, control of your opponent's weapon is required to land a covered thrust. We're testing each other's defenses. Oh, and we have a ring out. Both feet appear to have left the. Yes. If both your feet step outside the ring, you receive. You lose one point. Your opponent gains one point for a ring out. They come back at it. And the opponents move back in. Striking good blows. Nothing done there. Judges, fighters exchange blows. We looks like we have a middle how to the arm. Oh, oh no! Fight up. Sorry, goal. my bad eyes. Headshot. I'm glad I'm not judging today. Indeed, it's, it's fast movements. Judging for this is never easy. Oh, oh and like we have our first head. double hit. Indeed, judges agree. Clearly a double hit. Judges are conversing. Uh, perhaps one of those strikes landed flat. As opposed to a double. double Ring Marshal washes it, no double. The fighter faints, throws a, a cut, which has landed. You can often hear when it's a hit to a body part as opposed to the sword. Yes, there was clearly a cut by Gold Fighter that landed on Black. I'm not sure exactly where. I believe that's what they're conversing over. And Gold Fighter receives four points for a cut to the head. As in, if you raised your hand in front of your head to prevent a strike, it would not have stopped a blow from hitting your head. Judges, is there a point for the ring out? Nope. Ring out. And we have another ring out. This time a point. It's really hard to see this, this green line when you're fencing. It is indeed, especially when you're in the ring. Oh, we had a grapple, and it yes. appeared to be a one-handed strike, which is legal if you have your opponent engaged with a grapple in your other hand, but not otherwise. It looked like they were, he was definitely using his other his left hand to control his opponent as he struck with his right, which is appropriate in all the longsword manuals and how the weapon is used. It is a double hand sword, however, it can be used in one hand, especially if you're using your other hand to grapple your opponent. On the West Coast, they don't particularly like. Geislings and one-handed no. stabs. Geislings, single-hand stabs are not allowed in this tournament. Match to gold. Gold fighter. That is Kevin Campbell of Blood and Iron Martial Arts. A bit closer, she said. Kevin Campbell of Blood and Iron Martial Arts is our bronze medalist. Casey Poor. Casey Poor takes fourth place and a well earned fourth place. Well done, Blood and Iron Victoria. Well done, sir. I wish I'd have won first, fourth place in my first tournament. <laughs> Demetrius showing a sense of the 
ironic. <laughs> In what Lee Smith terms the reenactment of the Hobbit versus Cave Troll fight from the Hobbit from Lord of the Rings. He's fond of these metaphors. Yes, we have Demetrius Stefano of Blood and Iron Martial Arts uh, with the the fighter wearing the gold band versus Chris Ponzillo of South Coast Swords, the fighter in the black band in a slight height advantage. I don't know about his advantage. Yeah. It's a factor. Yeah. A slightly taller fighter. <laughs> Taking the corners. Let's begin. Let's fence. Fighters begin. They tap their swords right. as a sign of respect. All right, fighters close. We looks like we had a quick strike. Oh, no. Looks like we had an arm strike by Black Fighter, followed by what looked to me like an afterblow from Gold Fighter. I'm not sure myself. Unfortunately, from the judges' table, we didn't have the angle to see the initial strike. Much discussion. I once made a joke about judges talking about beard oil. I swore I wouldn't do it again. All right. One point black for an undercut, uh, discounting the late after blow. Like a double strike. Now, in this tournament, three double strikes will disqualify both fighters. It's actually very easy to do, but we discourage it because it's, it's suicide. <laughs> it is indeed. Sometimes double hits will just happen. However, it is not to be encouraged. He had a good thrust from Gold Fighter for two points. He, there was an afterblow received, which will negate one point. Oh, oh. and Gold Fighter strikes a very fast Vorschlag to the arm of Black Fighter. Apparently. Oh. They're going to confer because it might have been a hand strike, and hand strikes are not allowed, being ruled as dangerous and unsportsmanlike for what we're trying to put on here. Now, again, hand strikes are something that happen, and most people will not target the hands. However, uh, when throwing a blow uh, and attempting to parry it, that sometimes the hands do perform the parry as opposed to the sword. Because you determined the shot which may or may not have landed on the hand, because it was not intentional, and if it may have been a hand parry, the shot could have performed dead or under belly. So, one point gold. Judge ruled out a valid strike to the arm for one point. Oh, one point gold. Yes, uh, fighter self calls it did not strike his hands, it did indeed strike his arm. Good honor by the fighter. Ooh, fighters close up and uh, a little David and Goliath looking thing there. <laughs> to quote Demetrius, he's so big. <laughs> I do believe we had a strike to the face by Gold Fighter. Let's see if the let's see if the judges agree. Nope. They didn't agree. Judges did not see a head strike there. They awarded a point to black for a ring out. I didn't see if the speeder in or not. Yeah. Oh, oh, we have some nice wrestling. Oh. Perhaps a pommel. Are you unsure? Oh, Black he Fighter agrees. did score the pommel strike to the mask. We had a judge from our angle did see it. Nine. 
Time is calling. Seven to four. Excellent fight. Max Gold, Woo! seven to four. Demetrius takes a knee, and I think he's very tired. And we'll leave. Woo! All only respect between these two fighters. Yeah, nothing but respect shown here. Our silver medalist, Chris Ponzillo. Our silver medalist, Chris Ponzillo. Chris Ponzillo. Well done, sir. Gold, Demetrius. Blood and Iron Vancouver. He will definitely be fighting Steel <laughs> soon. I hope to meet him in Steel at the next event. First has been fencing for nine months. <laughs> nine months. Indicating a little background on the fighter, Chris Ponzillo has been fencing for nine months.